Hey everybody, so thank you for clicking on my video today. Um, in today's video we'll be looking at how I got into medicine and hopefully this will give you a few hints and tips about how you can make a successful application. So a little bit about me, I've made several videos now on my YouTube channel so please have a look at them. I've got videos about what types of work experience placements are recommended uh, in order to have a successful application how to write a good personal statement for medicine, how to score highly in the UK CAT, how to be successful at a medical school interview, and also how to be successful in the pre-clinical years at medical school. So that's years one and years two. Now, if you enjoy my video today, then please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and also share this video with your friends, and also please comment in the comment section below. Thank you. So without much further ado, we'll make a start. So in today's video, I'll start off by discussing how to apply to medical school as an undergraduate, how to apply to medical school as a postgraduate. And finally, I'll share my story and my journey of how I applied to medical school um, because it's quite a unique story and that's why I've saved it until the very end. So just looking at this piece of data, firstly, it has um, the number of applicants that have applied for medicine from 2010 all the way to 2019. Now, I do appreciate this may look quite intimidating, but if you just bear with me, I'll hope to simplify it. So this is the data directly from the UCAS website, so you can have a look yourself. But what I really want you to focus on is just the UK. So that's highlighted by this yellow rectangle. And as you can see, the number of applicants has been increasing steadily year upon year. Now, the whole point of having this table on this slide was to demonstrate to you that medicine is an exceptionally competitive course. So therefore, you, in order to be successful in getting your place at medical school, you must prepare to make a very competitive application yourself. And hopefully after watching this video and my other videos, that will give you a better idea of how to approach this. So how to apply to medical school as an undergraduate. So firstly, what is an undergraduate? Now, an undergraduate is someone who has never studied at university before. So for instance, this is your typical school leaver. So your story will start off initially by going to secondary school. Now at secondary school, you will need to undertake some examinations and get some GCSEs. The important thing to remember is that if you're dreaming of going to medical school, you need to have very good GCSE results in order to make a competitive application. So I would recommend to you studying and working to the best of your abilities in order to get as many A's and A stars at GCSE as possible, because medical schools will count the number of A's and A stars that you have achieved at GCSE to help build up their academic profile of you. Because this academic profile will be used in conjunction with other components of the application to help judge whether or not you should receive an interview. So it's very important to get good GCSE grades. Now, how each university uses the GCSE grades will fluctuate and vary. So that's why I would recommend that you read the entry requirements very carefully for each medical school that you're interested in. For instance, certain medical schools will only look at applicants who have got five A's and A stars. So unless you meet that threshold, they will not even consider your application. Other medical schools may look at your top 10 best GCSEs, assign perhaps five points for every A star, four points for every A, and 
three points for every B grade that you have achieved. And based on the academic profile for the cohort that's applying, they might decide a threshold that unless the, the applicant has achieved an X score in terms of all of their GCSE points, then we will not consider their application at all. So that's why it's very important that you work as hard as you can at secondary school to get the best GCSEs that you can in order to make a successful application. So after going to secondary school and achieving fantastic GCSEs, you will then go to sixth form or college. Now, at sixth form or college, medical schools will require students to undertake three A-levels, including two science subjects. Now, one of these science subjects has to be A-level chemistry. That is a must, and that has always been a must for medicine for years and years. It's really, really important. Now, to apply to medical school, you need to either be predicted or achieve three A's at A level or better. Okay, and the next step is to undertake an aptitude test such as the UK CAT or BMAT, depending on where you want to apply, and also you need to write a personal statement. Now, in my previous videos, I've explored this in much further detail, so please have a look at the video. Now, after scoring a very high score on your aptitude test and writing an amazing personal statement, achieving good grades at A-level and having fantastic GCSE results, all of this information will be collated up by the medical school and they will then set a threshold and identify criteria on who they will admit for an interview and whose applications they will unfortunately reject. So that's why it's really, really important that you look at the entry requirements for each university that you're interested in and make sure that your application um, is as best as you can make it and will also appear um, quite competitive um, and interesting for them as well. So the next step is once everything so far is going well, fingers crossed you will be offered an interview. Now, because you are an undergraduate, so you've never uh, studied at university before, you don't have a degree, you will be applying for the A100 course and therefore you will be interviewed for the, the A100 course. Now, if you have a look at the video, I've got an example over here in the far left of a simple traditional interview and this is an example or the best example that I could find of an MMI interview and if you look to your right you will see that there are two interviewers and one interviewee standing up so this is my example of a panel interview now the panel interview and MMI interviews are the two most common form of medical school interviews now, I've explored um, the best way of tackling medical school interviews in a previous video, so please check that out. But I just wanted to highlight that to you there. Now, after doing fabulously well in your interview, fingers crossed you will have a place at medical school. OK, so that's one method of applying to medical school. The second method of applying to medical school is, a, is as a postgraduate. So these are students who already have a university degree. So it might be that they have studied biomed, biochem or clinical sciences at university and later on decided that they wanted to do medicine or perhaps they were unfortunately unsuccessful applying to medicine the first time round and then they've chosen to apply for, like I said, biomed, biochem or clinical sciences, studied three years and then applied to medicine again. So the story starts off with these students is that they've already received their degree at their university and again these students because they're making a new application for medicine they need to undergo an aptitude test so UKCAT or BMAT depending on the university that they're interested in 
and also write a personal statement. So based on all of this academic information, this will be used again as criteria to decide whether or not the student should receive a medical interview. Now, as a postgraduate, they can apply for the A100 course, which is the undergraduate course, or the A101 course. Now, these courses are slightly different. So A100 course, like I alluded to previously, is the undergraduate course. So this is your typical five year medical course. So the first two years will be preclinical and the remaining three years will be clinical. Now, the A101 course is strictly for postgraduates only. Now, because it's only for postgraduates, the A101 course is a four year course. So only the first year is preclinical and the remaining three years will be more clinically focused. So the A101 course, because it's a four year course, it's taught at a much faster pace than the A100 course, which is a five year course. Also, another thing to bear in mind is that the four year course is one year shorter than the A100 course. So it works out a little bit cheaper because you've got one year's less of tuition fees and accommodation fees to pay. But you've also got to weigh up the fact that there are more places available on the A100 course compared to the A101 course. So there are advantages and disadvantages to both courses. So if a postgraduate student is watching this video and is interested in applying to medicine, I would also recommend that not only do they look at the medical schools that they're interested in, they also need to uh, consider whether or not they should apply for an A100 A or an A101 uh, because this will benefit different people. Uh, some people might prefer the A100, others might prefer the A101. My advice is to really, really look carefully at the entry requirements and, and consider what would be best for them. Now, after having a medical school interview, which fingers crossed went fabulously, you will be offered a place at medical school and now you can achieve your dreams. Okay, so now I'm going to discuss my own story of how I applied to medical school. So like I said, my, my journey is quite unique um, and I shall explain it right now. So initially, like most students, I went to secondary school, I achieved reasonably well GCSEs. Then I went to sixth form again, reasonably well A-levels. I sat the UK CAT and I wrote my personal statement, which I then submitted. Unfortunately, I was unsuccessful in my first application to medicine. So I contacted the universities uh, that I applied to and got feedback from them. And the feedback that I received from the universities is what is that they thought that my personal statement uh, didn't appear competitive enough. Um, and also that my UK CAT score could have been better. So I decided to take a gap year and to really develop my skills and really um, increase the range and the depth of the work experience placements that I had taken um, and to reapply the following year. So I applied a year later and this time I was far more successful. So I, I, I received two interviews. I was invited to interview at Keele University, which was an MMI interview. And I also was interviewed at Cardiff University, and this was a panel interview. So after being interviewed, I was offered a place at Keele Medical School, which I've been studying at very happily. And I am now a fourth year medical student at Keele University. So just standing back, my journey to medicine wasn't your 
typical straight line but eventually I found my way there and I'm very happy um, about what I'm doing at the moment and I've really enjoyed everything that I've done so far. So this is the references for um, all of the images that I've used in the video but what I really want to leave you is this message today. So applying to medical school is very, very competitive, as I've alluded to previously. However, the most important thing is to keep moving forward and never give up, because if that was the case, then I wouldn't be where I am today. So what I'd like to leave you with is this quote from Thomas A. Edison, which says, our greatest weakness lies in giving up, the most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. So hopefully today, after watching my video, it's given you greater clarity on how to apply to medicine. And I wish you all the best. And please let me know in the comment section um, if there's anything that you'd like me to clarify, um, if there's anything that you think that I've missed out. Um, but ultimately, ultimately, I'd like to wish you all the best. And thank you for watching my video today.